Hi, my name is Alex, and today we're going to speak about the future progressive. We're going to start off with an icebreaker, and uh, we're going to watch a video. It's called How Many Languages? Okay, so you have to guess how many languages this lady is speaking. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the first language is English. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And the second language was French. Uh -huh. Third language is Tamil, which is a language spoken in India and in Sri Lanka. Yeah, India. So what is future progressive? Future progressive, also known as future continuous, it expresses an activity that will progress at a time in the future. So, for example, we are planning to start dinner at 8 p.m. and finish at 8.30 p.m. So the future continuous, how you say is, we'll be having, we will be having dinner. As I explained here, we often use the time clause for the present clause and the future continuous. We talk about a future event that will happen while something else is happening. Notice how I put I'll, that's a short form for I will. So in most cases, you know, instead of saying I will be waiting for you, you'll we'll say I'll. So you use going to or will. Going to is used when the speaker wants to express a prior plan. Will is used when the speaker wants to do something, like volunteer, offer help, like at this moment. We use the future continuous to talk about an activity that will be in progress at a particular time in the future. You're planning to start dinner at 8.30 p.m. At 8.15 p.m., we'll be having dinner. So if you know it's real, it's a short form contraction for the I have to go ahead and fill out here. Complete the sentences below. Put the words in brackets in the future, simple. Oh, forward the first one together. Right now, I'm having lunch. Tomorrow at this time, I'll be having lunch as well. That's okay. Well, we're going to practice uh, speaking a little bit here. Um, what will you be doing at 8 a.m. tomorrow? Yeah, I will. I will. I'll be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a question and then you just answer back. Okay? So, what are you doing this summer? I'm going to France in summer. All right. All right. So, we're going to play a game. On this handout, on the second page, just like how we were doing, we were speaking back and forth to each other. I'm going to ask the question, and then you come up with an answer of what you just learned. And when it's your turn, try to throw it on the board here. Whichever letter it falls on, I'll read you that question. So, and then, of course, you, you uh, give me the answer back if, if it's correct. You know, you get a point. If it's not correct, you don't get a point. Yeah. Don't hit me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who will be the next president of the USA? <laughs> <laughs> Who will be the next president? Okay, that's correctly said. Who will be? All right. Everybody's a winner. <laughs> that concludes our class today. Hope you all enjoyed it and learned something.